Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews, and today we are going to take a look at a Rebore figure, and this is one that's actually been out for quite a while, but it came out before I had started doing reviews, and it's actually been out for so long that as you can see, there are now two versions, and this isn't like your normal Rebore product, where they release two versions at one time. No, there was the initial release, which was this one, and then I, quite a few years, I think, later, uh, they released this one, so... There are two different versions. This one here is now discontinued. This one is the one that you would currently find for sale on pretty much any website that sells Rebore figures. But these are their Fallen Queen Triceratops figures or statues, I guess you could consider them. And they are absolutely fantastic. As every Rebore product usually is, you won't find even an ounce of laziness or sloppiness with these products. Both are beautiful and I've been a huge fan of these figures for a very long time. I've actually used them in quite a few different dinosaur photography images that I've taken just because they are the perfect base for a predator to be standing over and they honestly are just great as far as the sculpt and paint and everything goes. So I'm really excited to take a closer look at these guys with you so let's do that right now. So we will start with the initial version, the original release, and you can see that the sculpting is fantastic. It genuinely looks like the dinosaur is deceased. It doesn't just look like a sleeping dinosaur, like it's at peace and then maybe we just have a few slits or anything up here. That is not the case at all. It genuinely looks like it is now dead. And Rebor really portrayed that throughout the sculpt, I think, beautifully. It honestly is a very sad piece in a way because you hate to see any type of a dinosaur dead even though we know it is in fact the harsh reality of how things were but at the same time the entire thing is just so amazing overall that you're just kind of in awe looking at it looking up here at the snout you can see that the nostril is sculpted out really nicely beautiful detailing within the beak of the triceratops as well and if you actually look at the horns up here you've got the nasal horn and then the brow horns they both look incredible and there's such a beautiful amount of realism within the horns again just taking a look at the sculpting as far as the fine detailing of the horns goes it is just absolutely breathtaking there are so many cracks and crevices within the horns that it really genuinely looks like a real dinosaur's horn but not to mention if you look up here you can see areas where the horns have been damaged and broken off and the horn has kind of started to grow back a little bit and that is extremely extremely cool and you can see from both sides it really looks awesome and I think that this figure overall is one of the reasons why so many people are just aching for Reborn to release King Trident their Triceratops the male version which hopefully will avenge the fallen queen here and take down their Tyrannosaurus Rex whenever it does officially release we've been waiting for quite a while for that one but we do get the female version here to look at so that's always a plus you can see the detail here around the eye is beautiful the eye is nice and sad looking closed as the dinosaur as I said is now deceased as you lead up into the frill the frill also looks great just looking at the detailing honestly it is incredibly well sculpted and the paintwork is also really nice I feel like the overall paint application again like almost all rebore products is really natural looking and the way it's applied is beautiful very realistically applied but in general I think the paint scheme of this Triceratops is really really nicely done I'm a huge fan overall as far as the color choices of the original version once we lead back here behind the frill we'll turn it to get that really good look you can see the detailing and the beautiful scaling on the back of the frill is also just off the charts but you can also take note to the fact that there are wounds here showing how the dinosaur has been taken down and killed and you can actually see even a tooth mark right there that has penetrated the skin of the triceratops and of course the blood and gore all over the place but you can see even the blood has leaked down onto the earthy area that the triceratops now lays on and you can also see just in general the sculpting and the detailing of the way the dinosaur was killed and mangled up here is incredible again the blood looks really good however they didn't really use a strong gloss on it back when they had released this initial version you can kind of see it but it's just not that glossy however I still think it has a very realistic look overall you can also see the sculpting of the front leg here is really nicely done even the nails are painted beautiful paintwork as well 
really beautiful skin texture all over the front leg there and even as we move back the body you can really see just lots of beautiful skin detail and really nice scaling you can get a sense of the musculature of the thigh even though it's laying down on this leg you can still get that little sense of the musculature and it really shows how Reborg goes the extra mile in making sure that their sculpts look fantastic. Lots of skin wrinkling here in the stomach as well as the dinosaurs laying on that side as it's now dead and there's lots of detail that can be seen especially even as we run out the tail here you can see so many creases in the skin and everything and then when we turn to this side again you've got lots of detail to be displayed you can really get a sense of the muscle tone and actually the bone structure of the front leg here even going up into the shoulder blade of the animal you've got that really nicely sculpted out foot right there once again and the paintwork is fantastic like I had stated earlier there's a really nice wash included and then just in general the paint is applied so realistically it's very very impressive lots of really nice skin detail all over the animal and then you can see lots of skin kind of folding and stretching with the way the dinosaur is laying bunching the skin up especially here on the underside with that leg that's really incredible skin detail in there and then you've got the really nice leg and foot sculpt over here as we lead down the leg you can again see the musculature all over the place the kneecap is present and there's the beautifully sculpted out foot once again the nails are painted and you lead out the tail and the tail also looks great really nice detailing here as we lead out the tail from the thigh area you can see lots of skin wrinkling and everything in that general vicinity too and then it looks really good the earthy texture that it lays on also looks really really nicely sculpted very realistic for sure there aren't really any tones of color included with the base but I think what is there is definitely about as realistic as you need and it honestly looks like a real piece of the earth that this Triceratops is laying on. And then on the underside you can see the underside looks really really nice beautiful silhouette of the skeletal structure of the Triceratops and of course King T-Rex up here in the right hand corner. It does say T-Rex versus Triceratops Diorama and then down here you have Conquest, Sorrow and Revenge. So for Conquest you've got the King T-Rex he leads to conquest. For the fallen queen, we have sorrow because she is now deceased, but King Trident leads to revenge. And unfortunately, we haven't received King Trident yet from Rebor, and this was actually made in 2015, so it's been a while that we've been waiting. So hopefully they do release that one very soon. Now, as far as the newer version, the one that is still currently in production and not discontinued, you can see that primarily it looks exactly the same as the initial release aside from new paint however there is one interesting aspect that is a little bit different that actually until now I've never really noticed and that is the horns on the initial release you have that kind of like horn growing back type of a look where like the horns appear to have been broken off and they're now starting to repair themselves but on the newer one you don't have that actually the horns look pretty much just like regular horns although you can see a little chip is taken off of the front of one horn but it's not growing back or anything it just looks like regular triceratops horns for the most part other than that i do believe the sculpt and everything is still the same we just now have new paint which you can now see the beak and the horns are more of like a brownish coloration as opposed to what they originally were on this one you can see if i don't drop it that one's more like a gray type of a coloration now they're brown and overall the dinosaur currently is i think is a little more vibrant in coloration compared to the previous version the older version was more like a bluish gray type of a color for the overall body color this one's more like a dark gray and even the palette area and eye socket are more like a whitish type of a coloration now and up here on the frill you can see that the yellowish brown type color is a bit darker than what we saw on the older version and continuing to show the differences you can see that the body now as far as the legs is primarily like that whitish grayish type color the same color you see on the palette area whereas this one the bluish gray kind of led down onto the legs and feet that doesn't happen on the newer version you also have some spotting in the stomach region in like a yellowish coloration and although you do have a yellowish coloration it's not exactly the same style as the previous version so there is quite a bit of difference as far as the paint application goes between the two and one other thing that is quite interesting on this is that now if we turn it around and look at the wounds of the neck area you can really see that very nice strong gloss coat added to it and it looks extremely extremely realistic now it really does genuinely look like the dinosaur is bleeding currently right in front of our eyes so that is definitely a plus I think the fact that they improved that really makes this the more superior version 
However, I don't know which one I personally like better as far as the paint scheme goes. I really do quite like both, but I think it was definitely a good choice on the part of Rebor to re-release this with a much more realistic gloss coat to the wounds and overall giving the entire thing a very realistic appearance, I think, in that aspect. And also, the base now has kind of like a dry brushing, this earthy texture type of a base. It has more like a dry brushing over top, bringing the detail out of the earthy texture really nicely. And you can definitely see that is the case all over it. And it really does look nice now, again, having like different tones of coloration included in the earthy area that the dinosaur is laying on was definitely a good choice on their part. And you can get a good idea of what the coloration and everything looks like from all sides as we turn it. I really, really love this Triceratops and I love both this version and the previous version. So both, in my opinion, are absolutely fantastic choices. So if you do purchase this one, the newer one that is still in production is really, really nice. Again, a beautiful, beautiful model overall. But if you can actually search out the older version, again, there is a slight difference between the horns, and that one, in my opinion, is also beautiful. The underside is exactly the same as the previous one, except this one now states that it is 2017 when this one was made, not 2015. So again, both of these are awesome. So as far as a size on our Triceratops goes, if we go from the edges of the earthy area that the dinosaur is now deceased on, you've got about eight inches or 20 centimeters in length. And for a height, really hard to tell honestly from your vantage point because I have to lead it pretty far away. Maybe if I go behind, it'll show it a little better. So you're looking at a little over two inches, maybe almost two and a quarter inches or about six centimeters, somewhere in that range. It's really hard to tell exactly because you're not smack up against the dinosaur. You have to kind of measure it from a little bit of a distance past the earthy area that it is laying on. For a size comparison, there is Mr. Papo T-Rex, Robert Muldoon in the attack pack, Colovasaurus next to our deceased Triceratops. Now, of course, I should have the King T-Rex here next to this to show you that comparison, but unfortunately I don't have that one with me. It is in storage, however, if Rebor does ever actually release King Trident, I will without question search out my King T-Rex to show the entire diorama together and how cool it looks with each piece added. But personally, I think that this Triceratops model is really nicely sized and definitely sizes up quite nicely in comparison to even the Papo Rex here. So this Rebor Triceratops, the Fallen Queen model is great, absolutely beautiful, and you really can't go wrong with either version in my opinion. If you want to search out the more rare version, the harder to find older one, again, the only real thing that you're going to probably have an issue with is the lack of like a gloss on the blood, because personally mine doesn't really look glossy at all in the blood area. But even excluding that gloss coat, I think it is an absolutely beautiful model and I was a huge, huge fan of it when it initially came out and that still holds true to today. The newer version is also really beautiful. So again, either version is honestly a great choice. If you can't acquire the older one, there's no wrongdoing with picking up the newer one, especially because now on the newer one, you have a little bit of a more vibrant color scheme on it, a little tiny bit of a flashier type of a look as far as I'm concerned with like the yellows and even the coloration of the horns now appear to make the dinosaur a little more vibrant, a little more flashy. But the addition of the gloss coat on the wounds is really nice on the newer one, much better than the previous version. But again, as far as the overall presentation of both, they are both incredibly nice looking. The sculpt is off the charts. As far as the detailing goes, there is so much incredible detail and sculpt crammed into these Triceratops models that it is mind-blowing. So much skin detail, really ironing out the positioning of the dinosaur and the way it's laying. I think Rebor 100% nailed every little aspect of the skin wrinkling and stretching and folding for the way that the dinosaur is laying. So when it comes to the overall realism of the scene that is taking place in front of you, this is definitely off the charts. Both paint schemes are also really nicely done as far as what I could potentially see a Triceratops being. So I really do quite like the paint on both. I like the sculpt on both. And then of course with the newer one you have just that ever so slight difference when it comes to the base and some dry brushing that's been added on which in my personal opinion does make the newer one look better than the older one as far as the base goes. But again, both fantastic 
releases from Rebore. It is sad to know that the previous version is discontinued, but at least they replaced it with an absolutely fantastic newer version. So either way, if you want the newer one, I will link you in the description to where you can pick that up right now. But if you want the older one, your best bet is probably going to be to search that out on eBay. So one way or another, make sure you pick up one or both of these beautiful deceased Fallen Queen Triceratops models from Rebor. But before you do that, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next review. Thanks for watching.